Hi everybody, um, this is Artisan Bath Indulgences. Uh, I am going to show you how to make some embeds for the insides of the bath bombs. These are what they look like. So they're little cubes. You don't have to make them um, cubes like that. You can make them with just about anything. Tablespoons, teaspoons, like so and or you can use this mini ice cube tray which I got at the Dollar General store it's just plastic I got it there um, for a dollar which is perfect perfect size or you can use small silicone molds you know like these and that's just what I've um, I just wanted to show you the different things it doesn't matter you can just lay them on on the table and um, and then just cut them with a knife or however. It doesn't matter how beautiful, how ugly, how whatever they are, you they're just going inside the bomb. So it doesn't matter. It just adds a spruce of what color. What is is equal parts of the baking soda and citric acid. So for this one, I'm gonna do a third of a cup. Okay, so I'm gonna take a third of a cup of the baking soda and a third of a cup of a citric acid, okay? Just like so. And basically, oh, and I forgot one other ingredient that I didn't show in the intro was um, rubbing alcohol, 91%, I believe it is. Okay, once again, my video camera decided not to record this part, so I'm already finished with this part, but what I did at this point was I, I have all my ingredients in the bowl, which is the baking soda and the citric acid. And then I added um, Red Lakes 40. So this is a bath bomb lakes colorant. And what I did was I added about, may have put a half a teaspoon, I don't know, I, that's probably even too much. But I stirred it up real good. So at this point, working again. So I apologize for this part, but this is what I use, is you put that in and then you stir it really good and then the video should pick right up. Okay, maybe this will help so nothing's in the way. So I'm just uh, got done stirring that. Now I'm just using the black, the Joan Jet black. And I don't know, this is, I'm not even gonna measure. I'm just gonna start sprinkling. You see the glitter in there? You see the glitter? I'm just gonna put some in because I want it to be, I want it to shoot out the black inside out of the embeds when it gets wet doesn't look like much and I have no idea how much to put in I don't even know if I put enough in and basically I'm gonna take rubbing alcohol and what I'm going to do I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to use what I'm going to use I think I might use one of just one of these flowers so that I can do a demo for you but I'm probably going to do the rest in this size, or I might do a few in the teaspoon size. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put some wax paper down, or set it right there so that, oops, look at all this mess, leaves a gritty sound on my bowl. Okay, so normally I would put gloves on, but I've washed my hands, and um, I just like to be able to feel the texture of the mix, and I don't feel like I can feel it as well with the gloves on. So you take a, uh, I put alcohol, 91% and a fine mist sprayer. I've got it on the fine setting and uh, you can use anything as long as it comes out fine. And then I just start spraying and then I stir. I just use my hands, just so much easier. And because it's alcohol, it's going to absorb faster. Boy, it smells like I'm at a doctor's office getting a shot. <coughs> Anyhow, you get used to the smell. Anyhow, you just stir it, and you can tell it's not quite there yet. You want it to be like a damp sand, but not a wet sand, okay? And that looks like it might be good. If you squeeze it together, it's somewhat holding. If I make it much wetter, you will do two more squirts. Maybe that'll be all we needed. Okay, because you kind of want it to be like the consistency of your bath bomb, which is if you put some in your hand and then you squeeze it together, 
should hold together. Although this is starting, I may have gotten this a little too wet. Beauty of it is, is that alcohol evaporates. So at this point, you can decide what you want to use, whether it be your ice tray. I'll go ahead and do some of, of all of them, okay? So let me move this around and put, okay. So if you can see what I'm doing, I take this ice tray and I just start filling it up, okay? Just like so. And I'm only gonna do a few in this because I don't wanna have a huge amount. I'm gonna stop right here. If I had enough, I would do the whole tray, but I'm gonna I'm gonna just stop it right here. And all you do is fill it up and press, okay? Like so, no big deal. You don't need to make it too terribly tight, but just make sure that it's at the top. Okay, so when you get it all on there, what I end up doing is take my spoon and I just kind of scrape over the top so it's somewhat even. No big deal. Okay, at this point, I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to flip it over and I'm going to tap. And there you go. They're all right there. And then these, these will just, I'll just scoot them up here and then they can just dry. Another way you can make them is, um, we'll make a few out of these flowers, okay? So I'm gonna put one, just fill up the silicone. And I could have this sitting on the table, but I don't know, I don't have a lot of room. I mean, I have a lot of room, but but I don't have a lot of room for how this video is set up. But I think I will move this and set it down. But basically you just put it on and you just make sure it's filled to the top. And I actually, I'll just go ahead and do these two since I've already got some, some mix in there. But um, this is quite messy. I'm going to scrape whatever I don't need off the top. And then just press down. Right like so. Flip it over. And uh, you can let it dry and then flip it out. So I'm just going to leave it in the mold like so. Okay. I could fill all these, but I'm just showing you what we can do. So let me go wash my hands and we'll get the other ones done. Okay, so the next thing I will do is I'm going to use up the rest of this mix with my tablespoons. So I'm just kind of giving you, or teaspoons, different ways that you can make embeds. So I just take my, this is a half teaspoon, so you can make various sizes. This is going to be smaller obviously, but I just take it and scrape it up beside the bowl. Oops, and there it already popped out. See, they just pop right out. So I'm going to take it, scoot it on the side of the bowl, lift up, there it is, tap it over. So it's that simple. Okay, so I know these aren't dry yet, but I'm going to try to see if they'll come out of the, out of the um, molds. I'm just going to lift up and maybe they'll come out. Oh, one of them came out. Okay, I think I might be able to tap if I just, maybe if I just pull on the silicone in two separate directions, it'll just pop out. Yep, one last one. I usually, you could leave them in the mold, but might be just as well to try to get it out so that it doesn't stick. Okay, this broke in half as I was trying to get it out, but that's okay. I'll uh, scoop him up into one of my... And it doesn't matter. That's the beauty. It can be the most ugliest embed, and it doesn't matter. Okay, but right there I've got three in that shape. So you can do whatever you want. So I'm just going to scooch all this up there. And you can also use this embed powder, what's left here. I wouldn't throw that out because you could actually, when this dries, it's going to become hard. Um, you could take this embed dust 
and mix it in with your bath bomb mix to get that crackly look on the outside. It's really a cool, neat thing. I'm going to wipe off the spoon because I'm not near the, the sink. But I went ahead and put another same amount of the half citric, third cup citric. You can do a, if you want to make a bigger batch of embeds, do a, a cup of each. I'm just doing the small batch, so we're going to do amethyst, the gold. But this is the new colorant, and I know there's a little controversy on this colorant, but I did order it from the UK. And they have strict guidelines um, that they have to follow, a little bit stricter than what the US has. So, But anyhow, these are easy colors. It's a new colorant, and that's how you get the vibrant, vibrant, vibrant purple amethyst. I don't always use those colors. I just recently got these and I hardly can put them down, but I use them for personal use. They don't stain, they're perfect, and I absolutely love them. So this is amethyst. A little bit goes a long way, okay? I want them dark. That's just me, and I, I'm sure that's way too much as it is, but I'm gonna add a tad more. While I'm at it, I'm gonna go ahead and add my gold. This is not really gonna show up in the embed it's going to just show up. I would have to, I would think I would have to really load this down with glitter for it to show up, but I'm thinking this will just be in the bath water when the bomb is finished. Okay, I don't know how these will work. This is my first time. So when I do the demo of it, you'll see what it's going to do in your bath, but you might not actually see the glitter, this part of it, until the water. I'm not sure yet. This is new, but I'm just going to... I'm going to load you. I'm going to load you up. Isn't that pretty? That gold. Anyhow, I'm going to stir it. Looks like nothing, doesn't it? Hardly looks colored at all. But I'm telling you, these easy colors are so potent. And they're awesome. But you know what? I think I'm still going to go ahead and add more. Because I'm crazy like that. I live on the edge. There's no, it's just all up to your preference. I can already see the glitter. I don't know if you can in the, just from the lighting. Anyhow, it doesn't look like there's much amethyst in there. But trust me, there is. You want to see the magic? This is where the magic happens. Now we're ready to stir it. So I'm just going to use my hands once again. Look at that. Turns immediately. Isn't that awesome? I think these are dyes. Powdered dye. Awesome, awesome. And you know what? This gets darker and darker as it dries. It dries such a beautiful purple. It's, it's unreal. I've never seen anything like it. Now, it's going to stain my hands till I wash them. But in the bathroom, in the bathtub, gorgeous, gorgeous water. And does not stain at all. It doesn't stain your tub. Nothing. So when I put these actually in bath bombs, they're wonderful. I think that's about the right texture. I don't want it too wet. One for the road, right? Can't hurt. So I'm going to do part of these the same way. I'm going to do part of them in the blue. Beautiful, and I see the sparkle. I don't know if you can see it, and if I pick one up, if it'll... Can you see the sparkle in that? I don't know if it'll pick it up or not. But anyhow, sparkles. It's gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to also show you how to do it with the teaspoon and the half teaspoon, or whatever size. Okay, so this is what we have that I just made, and we had it done in lickety-split. We got them done. Now I'm going to show you 
how what they look like in the water. So I've got, I'm going to do, these aren't completely dry, so I'll use the smaller square. Well, I might be able to use the bigger one. I just want to be able to show you what they look like in the water. And I thought I would go ahead, and I've got other embeds made up, and I thought we would, I would show you all the different colors. And... You know, I, I made these embeds in the purple, but I've also made this cute little white one. Actually, this is not an embed. I just wanted to test out when I first got that mold, and I wanted to test out a um, part of my bath bomb mix. So this is, but I wanted to, I didn't have any embeds made up, so this is part of my bath bomb mix. And I went ahead and painted it. Isn't it cute? It's so cute. But, um... So now I was able to decide that, hey, yeah, this could be a big, huge embed into a big, uh, round one. Depends on the, if I'm using the round or if I'm using a thick mold. So anyhow, I'm going to show you all the different colors, but first we'll start off with the yucky one. Remember this one broke, kind of? So I'm going to show you, oop, you see it over here, it already started. So I'm going to show you this one. Well, actually, let me show you the red one first. I'll use a small one with the red, and this is what it's going to look like. Now, this is only when, when, when your bath bomb um, is going. It's going to foam and do all that lovely action, but then when it gets to the center where all your embeds are, then that's what, this is a different... Um, combination of ingredients so this just shoots out the color so this is this is not going to put on a show as far as foam goes but this will show you the color so you have that I could stand to have that a little darker red I don't know that's not super bright in my opinion you know you see the glitter that's hanging out on top um, inside my bath bomb mix which is in this one there is polysorbate 80, and that also helps keep the glitter from clinging to the side of your tub, as well as the mica powders. So that was the red one. I'm going to continue on. This is not dry yet, but I'm going to continue on with this one that's half broken, okay? And this is the amethyst. Look at that. Oh my goodness, look at that one. O-M-G. I absolutely did not think that was going to do that. And you see the gold? I don't know if you can see the gold glitter that's floating on top. Can you see that? Can you see that gold glitter mixed in with the black because we just used the red? But oh my God. I'm going to have to come empty this and come back with clean water just so you're able to see the other colors. But look at that gorgeous. Look here. Now I'm going to show you. This does not stain. Now this, this is the colorant that I get from um, Easy Colors. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put another one in. Let's throw let's throw one of these guys in to make it darker. Okay. Wow! Look at that. Okay. I don't think there's anything else that's a little more you know as vibrant as this purple. Okay, so it's super dark. Look at that gold. Can you get a glimpse of that gold? I don't know. I can't tell on this way I have this camera set up if you can even see the glitter. But once it's in the water, in the tub, it will just be so pretty. Okay, but I'm just going to show you. This is pretty dark. And if you don't believe me, I'll throw another one in. Let's throw one more in to get it really dark. Look at that. We'll throw that in. And we'll make it even darker. What a gorgeous, gorgeous amethyst color. Okay, so now that we've tested this out, don't worry, I have a bunch more embeds. But with all this gorgeous, gorgeous glitter. Anyway, look hand almost disappears. Look at that. Look, I'm under this water and I'm going to come back and there's going to be no staining.
See? No staining. It's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, I'm going to be back. I'm going to empty this so I can try out the other embeds. Okay, now I have a clean bowl of water. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you these other colors. Okay? Shall I do them one at a time or throw them all in? What do you think? How about... Okay, let's do one at a time, I guess. We're going to do... This is Yellow Lakes. Even though it kind of looks greenish, it was because when I mixed it, there was just a smidge of blue in there by accident in the bowl. But that's your color. Bright yellow. Let me see if I can get this a better above the bowl so you can see. That was the yellow, and that's a lakes yellow. And then this one is an orange easy color. So that's pretty bright too. It's hard to tell because now our water is colored. Okay, now we're going to do a blue lakes, and that's a really pretty blue too. Then we'll we'll do um, we'll do a green. It's almost like a moss green. It's really cool. I just colored two, put two lakes together, and that's that color. And then this is the this is the green, the easy color green. It doesn't look like much, but when you put it in the water, uh, you can hardly tell. But it's a super vibrant. That one's kind of a dud sort of. You can't see it in this water, but you get the gist of what I'm talking about. I mean, it is a pretty green. If if this was an already colored green, you'd get to understand how vibrant that is. And let's just see what this blue easy color one looks like. So anyhow, um, you just, it's just, look at the color of the bowl. Just, just take a look at that. How awesome is that green? But look, it is so pretty. What a pretty green. See, your hands just disappear and you come up and there's no staining. It looks like there might be, but there's not. See? Gone. It's awesome. That's why I love it. Love the lakes powders. And so, just for gr uh, giggles, now that we have our color in our bowl, let's use this little little cute little guy. I think this is the, my bath bomb recipe, but I can't, it may not be, I've switched my recipe around a few times and I'm still trying to get what I like, but this, I'm not sure how this is going to react, but we'll go ahead and put it in. And then it foams. Okay. So there you go. I don't have any embeds in there, so it's just the white, but that just goes to show you. Um, I think in this one, I kind of messed up my recipe. See, it's only barely fizzing a little bit, but that's because I had too many hardeners in there, and so it just can't breathe to shoot out. And so I wasn't too happy with this um, batch that I made. Okay, so that's the reason. It's still going, but my son wants to put in a um, an, one of those amethyst ones, so I'm going to let him. I don't know what we'll, what it'll do, but go ahead and put it in. Thanks. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? Now that is how you make embeds. It's still bubbling up. That's part of that little um, flower bomb that I put in there. And it's still trying to finish out the bubbling phase. Like I said, it was a little tight. 
and the bomb couldn't breathe to shoot it out, so it wasn't my best batch, but good to put in here. Okay, so this is the color of the water when I pour it in the sink. Look at that, oh, it's so gorgeous, so gorgeous. And guess what? No staining. I hope you enjoyed the video on making embeds with lakes and also with easy colors.